Hey everybody, it's the Urban Alchemist here, Gerald. Um, it's been a while since I've been on with videos and I'm so happy to be here as always. Um, I'm going for my daily walk, something that I've started recently because the weather has been so nice and I'm a little congested. My allergies, y'all, I ran out of medication or not medication, but medicine. So forgive me. But anyway, um, yeah, I have been living life and learning a lot of lessons recently. Um, I'm learning more how to live from a, like more from the heart. It sounds so cliche and cheesy that whole follow your heart, just follow your heart, blah blah blah. But like, there is really something to it, you all. And I've heard people say stuff about living from the heart before and it it confused me i'm like what <laughs> like what is that even like if you get in a certain groove in life you sort of disconnect from your body and disconnect from your heart and it's all your head is cerebral and that's where i've been Woo! especially when it comes to like um Like being confident about your decisions and things, you know, and really uh, knowing how you feel about them. I think everybody says, well, um, I know who I am and I do what I do and blah, blah, blah. I do what I want and blah, blah, blah. They say that because that's what's expected. When people ask, you know, what do you really want and do you live your life authentically and stuff like that? But it's like, how many of us actually do? Um, I don't know the answer to that. I don't know. But I can say for me, there's been a lot of self-discovery. Um, it's definitely been like dealing with inner demons, seeing those things and learning what they are and then casting them out. But also getting to know who I am outside of like all the roles that I play, all the expe expectations placed upon me. And just knowing what it is that I want. Even things that are so simple, you all, like money and the bills and rent. It's like, I noticed I was giving myself the space to be me as much as far as... Um, rent's paid and bills are paid and all that other stuff and as, as much as I can maintain life as I know it but now what I'm learning is no 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 like you have to be you at all times and you got to be willing to learn at all times and that may take on the shape of many different things um it may it's going to introduce fears to you because as you expand your idea of yourself your awareness, you're going to test the limits. And whatever your limits are, you're going to question them. And if you can sit in that space long enough, you're gonna find like new dimensions of yourself because what we tend to do is we tend to, oh, I can say me anyway, I can only speak for myself, but like you give yourself so much leeway or so much rope to like, question experiment and test things but whenever things get too tricky or a little too uncomfortable then we want to retreat but if you open your your heart up enough and you stop judging enough and you want to change enough you can take your place yourself really far and pretty quickly too and um like the discomfort kind of wears away if you're just willing to sit in that space. So that's what I've been learning you all. And it's been pretty interesting, I must say. Like, um, yeah, like you learn new dimensions for sure. And I think that's really valuable. Um, I know it's working for me and where I'm headed because I could not continue to live life the way that I've been living it. <clears throat> um, and I knew that, like talking about living from the heart, I knew that a while ago. Um, 
as far as my heart is concerned, but my head was still trying to reason, rationalize, work out how I could live differently. And y'all, when you live in your head, it can like, especially if you're a very cerebral person, like I can be at times or analytical, like your mind can do all kinds of somersaults, backflips. <laughs> it can it can be obsessive about something for days and days and days, but like you really got to listen to your heart and know what your heart wants and then be willing to do that because I've heard people say, and I'm starting to experience this, the heart does have its own intelligence. And um, if you're willing to work with that intelligence, I'm crossing the street, you all, sorry. How you doing? If you're willing to work with that intelligence, you can make some um, major improvements, but it's gonna be because that's what's in alignment with who you are, not just because you can conceptually um, work something out. Like, no, the soul is expansive and the brain is, huh? Uh -oh. The soul is expansive and the ego, which is a little more mental, a little more from the, the mind, is limiting or um, constrictive. So, um, aligning with the heart allows you expansion in your life. And expansion means going outside of your comfort zone, going outside of what you know, and when you work with the soul, you're working with your truest desires. So honoring that, um, respecting that experience, and then turning down the volume on the other facets of my life, which go against that, that's been an interesting journey. And then turning up the volume on my soul or my spirit. It's been doing all kinds of things, you all. So if you, um, if you have any experience with this, if you have experiences, please like leave comments below. Let's talk about this because it's all kind of new to me. Like I've been a spiritual person for a very long time. And um, <clears throat> like intensely in the past few years, but um, I've always been like spiritual to a degree, but I didn't really know what my spirit was or how to um, relate that to my experience and you know, what were the benefits of working with it and all that. So that's all kind of new to me. Um, I've always been sort of a um, uh, conformist to a degree and just go along with the status quo, go with the flow, like see what the environment is and then work with that. I am a um, Virgo, so I'm somewhat adaptable. I'm very adaptable actually. And this new way of being is um, totally different because it's like, okay, what do I want? Let me focus on that. And how can I work with that to bring about my reality? So that's been a little different for sure. And, um, <clears throat> and knowing that the soul is a real thing and everybody has their own individual soul and their own desires and you get to create out of that, not out of the limitation of society or of relationships or your past. Um, that's all the stuff that's like interesting to me right now. Um, the fact that you can transcend all of that and you can create out of just the very essence of who you are and what you desire on a soul level. So yeah, y'all, living from the heart, it's a thing apparently. <laughs> uh, and it takes you to some uncomfortable places, but that's what it, that's the cost of expansion and growth. And 
I would say embrace that discomfort because once <laughs> once you move through the discomfort <laughs> um, and come out on the other side, you'll find that you have expanded and that there are more possibilities there than you ever knew that you were aware of. Um, yeah. So like specifically, like to share specifically, like um, quitting my job um, as an employee and starting my own business has been really liberating, but it's also awakened a lot of fears that I've had around survival and having money and resources and stuff like that and security, you know? I was taught to believe and I had adopted the belief that, you know, security was a priority. And so that was my outlook. And when I quit my job, I called that into question. And rather than retreat back into what I knew, which is like, oh, find another job and just start making money again. And then your passion, your soul calling, whatever, just put that on the back burner for a little while or just find a way to do it with this other thing would make make the security priority. I sort of left that behind. And um, I just sat with the idea of, no, you're going to follow your spirit, do what it tells you, and um, figure things out. And you're gonna be just, you're gonna be uncomfortable. Like you're not gonna have the security that you've always known. And so I sat through that, sat through that. I had major anxiety about it. Some major shift in me, but now that I've gotten on the other side of that, it's like, whoa, okay, I have security that I didn't know that I could have. I, I may not have the monetary resources that I always have been accustomed to and that, I, that I'm more comfortable with. But that being said, I have so much more freedom, which is a huge thing that I didn't have before. I have freedom now to do whatever I want. Um, I'm finding ways to connect with people that I've never, that I have not had previously. Um, I have ways to do my calling and I have ways to learn about myself. And even though I may not have the monetary resources, I have a lot of other resources which are just as valuable in a way. And so when I do have monetary resources again, it'll give me the perspective to look at them in a brand new way. And that's the lesson, you know what I mean? Um, I'm not a slave to money or to security because I'm operating without it and I'm okay. Um, so that's an interesting lesson to learn. And Having known that this would be the lesson that will come out on the other side, um, I would have probably been more up for it, learning, but now that I've experienced that, I was like, okay, cool. What other lessons are there available to me um, on the other side of discomfort? Um, yeah, it just makes you think it's growth. And it's not just growth from living. It's not happen happening haphazardly, it's conscious growth. Because I made this decision. I instituted it. I'm reinforcing a new response um, outside of comfort or security. It's like, no, this response is based on the need to be better. It's self-instituted, and that's a big part of my whole thing, so. Yeah, like living from the heart, you all learn how to do that. And it's an interesting ride. It's fun. It's scary at times. But it's definitely bringing out growth and uh, new parts to me, which I really, really appreciate. And I hope you all can relate. Thank you all for listening. Please comment below. Love to hear your experiences. And then y'all like, share, and subscribe. I cannot emphasize this enough. I really would appreciate if you watch my videos, just like, share, and subscribe. It's a way that helps me bring more content to you and build this community. So thank you all so much. Have a great day.